f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y for all x, y that are real numbers. And also f is continuous at x equal to 0. Show that f of x is equal to a times x. So first, we, let's look at f of 2x is equal to f of x plus x. That is equal to f of x plus f of x. That is equal to 2 f of x. So now we have want to have a look at f of nx. Is it equal to n times f of x? Right, according to this pattern. So we already know n is equal to 2. That's true. Right? So we assume n is equal to k. Assume to be true. We want to find out if n equal to k plus 1, is it still true? But right, mathematical induction. Now, I say f of k plus 1 times x is equal to f of kx plus x. That is equal to f of kx plus f of x. That is equal to k times f of x. And this is according to the assumption. That's assumed to be true plus f of x. That is equal to uh, k plus 1. Common factor, f of x. Yes. So really, k plus 1, multiply it out. So really true, right? So this is really true. So every time we have a positive in integer in front of x, just always multiply it out. So which means f, if I let n of x is equal to t, then x is equal to t over n, and which means f of n x is equal to f of t. That is equal to n times f of x. But x is t over n, and so, so f of t over n is equal to 1 over n times f of t. Right? So replace t with x. f of x over n is also equal to 1 over n times f of x. Right? So that is telling us every time we have a, a positive integer in front, we always multiply it out. So this is telling us every time we have a positive integer underneath, we just multiply it out, put it underneath. Right? So according to this logic, f of n over n times x, bracket, that is equal to, like always take multiply the positive integer out. So m is out, f of x over n. Right? Again, according to this logic, I can just take out the positive integer underneath out. Right? m over n times f of x. Right? So this is telling us every time we have a positive fraction, right? positive rational, we can always take that out. So far I've shown every time we have a positive rational in front, uh, then we can always multiply it out. So now let's have a look at f of 0. Now f of x plus 0, right? according to the logic I have, f of x plus f of 0, right? So, but that's also f of x. So, f of 0 is 0. Now, f of 0 is also equal to f of x minus x, right? That's equal to f of x plus f of negative x. So which means, so, right, so that's equal to 0. So which means f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, right? Which means f is odd. Right? Since f is odd, then I can easily say that f of negative m over n times x, right, equal to negative f of m over x, 
That is because of the negative, right? Take out the positive fraction, n of n f of x, right? So every time I have negative fraction, I can always multiply that, right? So not only positive fraction but negative fraction. So how about real number now? For all real number. Right? I know that for any real number, I can always find a rational sequence. Rational sequence, so that this sequence approaches A as n approaches infinity. Right? So, which means then I'm going to have a look at f of cn x, right, but that's equal to cn times f of x. Uh, if I straight away let cn approach, uh, like, uh, c, uh, n approach infinity, right, cn approaches a, but cn x approaches a x, but that doesn't necessarily approach f of a x, because I don't know if it's continuous everywhere, right, only continuous at zero. So I can just let Cn minus a, right? Cn minus a approaches zero. Now, if I have a look at f of Cn minus a times x, that is equal to f of Cn Cn x minus a x. That is equal to f of Cn x plus f of negative ax. That is equal to cn times f of x minus uh, the odd function minus f of ax. Right. Now I can let n approach infinity. Right. So this time, this time, right, this part approach zero. Right, since it's continuous at zero, so limit is equal to functional value at zero, f of zero. Right, left hand side, f of zero, right? right that's zero. Right hand side, c n approaches a, a times f of x minus f of ax. Right? Now I can say that uh, f of ax equals a times f of x. Right, so not only uh, true for any uh, fraction, positive fraction, negative fraction, right, multiply it out. Right, even if we have a real number, also multiply it out. Now we can have a look at f of x. f of x is equal to f of 1 times x. Right? Since it's true for any real number a, right, okay, multiply it out. So which means it's true for any real x, right? Just multiply x out. x times f of 1. But f1 is fixed number, right? So we can just call f1 just, just a, right? Just, uh, just, just a. But that a may be different from that a, right? a naught. So that is it. a naught times x f of x, a naught times x, right? Equal a times x, right? Maybe a naught times x. 